Hi hey guys. Well, here's what we're doing today. Uh, we're replacing the wiper seals on this 74 Plymouth A body. So this is a Valiant, but this applies to pretty much all of them from 67 up through 76. And what we're looking at is right here on this pivot. This is your wiper pivot. See how cracked up and and dry and all those uh, that piece of seal is there so that can pass water and this car is leaking a little uh, not that bad but some of them leak pretty bad so uh, what you have to do is you have to replace these and it has got water kind of standing on it there but it's a good idea to replace these this is about the only two well there's probably about three leak points on these cars and that's wiper seals um, around the windshield gasket especially up there at the top and sometimes the, the heater box can get filled up with junk and uh, collects water so uh, this car had to have the had to have the wiper arm pivot points replaced also those little nylon bushings so just in here uh, doing all of it at one time I've got a few things I'm going to be doing here uh, it's got the old cardboard glove box. We're going to replace that with a, a new one. And just kind of do it all at once. So that's what we're doing. And to get into these things, you got to take this apart and get back to, you kind of see right there, uh, there's the right side wiper pivot. You can see, just see that very well, but it's got two bolts. And those are half inch nuts. You just loosen them up and then you can just carefully pull that down from the from the firewall there and then for the other side we'll have to uh, pull that cluster out carefully and I'm going to lower the steering column down I've already got some of the trim pulled away for that so that's how you're going to get into that I'll show you that in a minute and what you do is you got to get a kit for this and I got this one off the internet I got it from eBay this was pretty cheap see it says a body 67 through 76 and uh, got your two foam seals and then you have the two water seals they call them those go over the pivots and two pieces of caulk so I'll show you what those do and then in here this is kind of optional some people do it some people don't but you can when you get those pivots off you can drill in and put these grease taps in and grease them so it's either way you want to do that you can or if you don't feel like it needs it you can skip that step but you just cut probably just didn't get them off here and see what they feel like so if they feel like they're binding up um, these feel pretty free I'll, I'll look closer when I get them out so uh, this one I got we're dodging rainstorms today of course that's how the weather goes around this part of the country and uh, so hopefully I can get somewhat further along than I did yesterday with this so I also have the center duct taken out to clean it and uh, I had to get it out to access the steering column bolt so it's kind of an ordeal to do this but uh, it needs to be done because you can see like I said this one's got just a little bit of water just landed on there it's, it's like it's come right off the yeah so right off the corner of the dashboard there so uh, it may have some things going on besides the wiper pivots so we'll just look into that but, uh, I guess I bet it would be a windshield seal on this one but uh, I'm gonna you don't want that to keep going on as I rush your floor pan out very quickly and uh, I'm gonna, I've got some good mats to put in here that catch water so you know that may just be a fact of life of these but this will go a long way though towards making sure you don't have to come back and revisit that problem again so, all right guys back in a little bit